May the 4th be with you. But wait, if today's May the 4th be with you, will tomorrow be Revenge of the 5th? Hey everyone, welcome to Star Wars Day. Obviously, it's the 4th of May. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to run through all six movies and rank them, but mostly rank them and give you my thoughts on each. I actually own the awesome Star Wars Blu-ray set, despite the stuff that Lucas did to the films before he sold them to Disney, but it's still an amazing set. But my only issue with this, I mean, it does give you a cool little booklet too, is in the back you get this artwork of everyone in the movies, right? And Anakin here is so prominent, while Luke Skywalker is up here in his tiny little corner all by himself. That's ridiculous. Why is Hayden Christensen get all the space? For visual references, I will be using my Star Wars DVDs. Number six, Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. This is by far the worst movie in my opinion, and it's mostly because of the Anakin and Padme love story, which was very much forced and felt very awkward to watch. There's no reason for them to ever fall in love he doesn't do anything that like takes her heart, but yeah, I don't, maybe Padme's just stupid, I don't know. As somebody who's watched the prequels, and you probably know as well, the dialogue's super awkward in all three films, so it's even more awkward when two people are pretending to fall in love. And plus, I remember this came out on my birthday on DVD, and in the trailers, it, they showed Anakin with two lightsabers, and you're like, oh, this is gonna be so awesome, so much better than episode one. And then he has two lightsabers for like two seconds. It's it was disappointing. Number five, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. This used to be my favorite film. When I was like 10, 11, 12, around that age, I saw the special edition original Star Wars films. I didn't know there's anything different between special editions and the old movies. I was too young. But then Star Wars Episode One came out and I watched it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing because there was so much action and I didn't really care about the story. In fact, I used to think Empire Strikes Back was the worst film. So, episode one came out, I'm like, this is a, an amazing film. And as I've grown older, I've realized all of its flaws and I mean, it's still pretty good. Like, as, as in the Star Wars films, it's clearly my number five, it's not that great, but if it was a film by itself, it'd be pretty good. I'd watch it again and I do watch it again. I do enjoy it. I think Obi-Wan's still the best character in the films, and I think Darth Maul's the best villain in the prequels, mostly because he doesn't talk, which was the prequels' main issue. Number four, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. I know I may get some flack for this, but I don't like New Hope as much as other people. Remember, I was, I was born, man, I was born like 12, 13 years after this film came out originally, so it didn't super impress me when I saw it with its special effects or anything. The story is pretty good, and I do like the characters. That's why it's better than episode two and one. But as a whole film, I, I guess I was just, I felt like there was la something lacking. And that was mostly anything Jedi related. And I do understand it was the first film made, even though it's episode four. I, I understand why it is the way it is. But it is my least favorite of the original trilogy. It's still a good film. As a standalone film, this would be great. And in the series, it's even better. But it's just not my top three. Speaking of my top three, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, is my number three. Revenge of the Sith is in the prequel trilogy and people hate on it, but this is my favorite film, and mostly because, yeah, there is the uh, awkward dialogue and all their stuff, but everything that's been building Episode 1 and 2 between Anakin and Obi-Wan comes to a head here, and it's awesome. That whole final lightsaber battle <laughs> in the lava and everything for like, it's like 10 minutes. That, that's still amazing. I don't... People can hate on these films all they want. Obi-Wan is my favorite character of the prequel trilogy, as I said with episode one, and him and Anakin just duking it out, and everything else that really happens action-wise in this film is amazing. That whole opening scene <laughs> in space, and then they go in the ship, and then they, if you haven't seen the film, just know there's a lot of awesome stuff. You know what, this film's 10 years old. They cut Count Dooku's head off. Thank God, he was not that great of a villain. Anyways, Star Wars episode three, the best of the prequel trilogy. Number two, Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, used to be my favorite um, of the originals as a kid. Reason being is because it had the most action. And as a kid, I didn't really care about the story as much as I cared about the action. I'd only watched the second half of the Titanic for the sinking, if that tells you anything. So, I really, I do, I really, I've, as I've grown older, I've grown to appreciate the characters more and how they're fully developed characters and they're not one-dimensional. And their dialogue isn't stilted and awkward, which I've realized more and more with the prequels as I've gotten older and my tastes have gotten refined. So, 
Star Wars Episode Six though was awesome. The final once again, like I enjoyed Episode Three with the Obi Wan and Anakin coming to a head and duking it out and fighting. That's that's really what I enjoyed the most about Episode Six with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Just everything coming finally to a close. They're like, you know, this is it. We've already fought before, like twice technically, and it's just it's it's on. But that only leaves one film left. Number one, Star Wars Episode Five. The Empire Strikes Back. As I said before, this wasn't my favorite film to begin with. As a kid, episode one took that place. This used to be my least favorite, but as I've grown older, it's clearly ri risen through the ranks. And my tastes have gotten more refined. As I said before, the characters are amazing. The story is awesome. It's It takes a dark turn after A New Hope, which I thought was just pretty good. But episode five, just everything's perfection. Uh, the good guy doesn't win in the end of the movie. Shocker. You know, that, especially back in the, what, early 80s, late 70s? That was probably unheard of at the time for most big films. But even today, that's that's unheard of. I really enjoyed just everything about this film. It was something new. In the Star Wars movies, it's definitely something new where most battles end with either a draw or a good guy clearly wins. So to see the bad guy actually have the upper hand is unique and different. And everything about this film is just leagues above, especially the opening with Hoth. Who doesn't remember Hoth? Hey everyone, so that was my rankings of the six films. Give me your rankings in the comments. I do want to see what you guys think, even if it differs from me, but I won't agree with you. Just want to let you know that. Make sure to subscribe, check out geeksundergrace.com, and may the fourth be with you, and tomorrow will be Revenge of the 